I've got to admit, um, I'm so glad Jack Weiner, uh, the professor that just spoke, was not competing against me because then I would have had this opportunity. <laughs> On that note, Um, good evening, good evening, everyone, and um, welcome to the last lecture for 2009. Um, we're all here today because we have faced and overcame great challenges, each and every one of us, even those that are graduating. For some, it's only took three or four years, and yet for others, like myself, it's taken a lot longer. Not everyone got brilliant marks. And I'm certainly not here because my own marks were stellar. Yet this moment is ours because we all persevered. We fought to make the most of the opportunities before us. Late nights finishing a last minute paper, putting those final touches on a difficult project. The stress that nearly overwhelms, be it finding the right words to start an essay or the challenges in truly understanding crucial concepts for a final exam. We persevered. Yet for some, their challenges went beyond their studies. Single parents returning to school to create opportunities a dead-end job would never permit. Some scraping by with rising tuition, depending on the volunteers of our overburdened food bank on campus. Brilliant students from overseas adapting to a new culture and community, and sometimes even a new language. Parents who sacrificed their homes and livelihood, who labored long hours and struggled many days so that their children could have a future they themselves never had. Of differing ethnicities, cultures, sexual orientations, abilities and faiths, each student has a story, each their own struggles, their hopes and their dreams. With only a few weeks left of the semester, we are all one step closer to what we each set out to do. I think you're laughing at a picture back there. <laughs> but here at Guelph, it was never about giving up. As students, we held on when challenges arose, knowing we were never alone. World-class faculty, like Professor Weiner, many of whom provide incredible insights and perspectives opened a world of new possibilities. Staff, from managing our records to cleaning the halls at night, help us, even if we don't always see them. They make things work, providing us with the means to learn in ways we always take for granted. And not to forget the hundreds of student volunteers like ourselves and activists, such as those we met during movement days, orientation week, and college royal, as well as many other wonderful events that dedicate their time and efforts to helping build a rich and creative campus community. Everyone is welcome to get involved and to be a part of something bigger, to be a part of our community. On this campus, we argue and share, create and learn, triumph and sometimes stumble, but on so much, we had a lot of fun. In doing so, we have the confidence and courage to open our campus for all to share, building a creative and inclusive place. We brought people from all walks of life together. In the whimsical and the profound, we demanded more of ourselves, challenging each other to grow and learn together. Alongside others, we came closer to finding ourselves from within the meaningful experiences we shared. We met new people and made new friends. And as we did, we never gave up on ourselves, nor on one another. It is why we are here today, together. Yet as we met the many challenges we faced on campus, with resolve and conviction, each of us began to find our own self. Starting on campus at different times, Constantly, with our unmovable determination to head in certain directions, we found ourselves changing. Here, at our home, on our campus, we grew with others 
as the world opened around us. Each one of us began to uncover our own interests and passions on a campus full of creativity and life. Outside of class, we challenge ourselves in exciting and unexpected directions. Our preconceived notions of what it meant to be a student were swept aside by exciting experiences that welcomed us to our new campus community. And in doing so, we became active members of a broader world, exploring new ideas and passions we found at wealth. We opened our hearts and minds to new thoughts and different people all around us, sharing in collective experiences that form the basis of lasting memory. Some challenge all odds becoming amongst the very best in what they saw. Only in the midst of it, all this commotion did we realize amongst us were athletes, poets, musicians, scientists, artists, designers, politicians, writers, and so much more. Every day that I come on campus, I am astounded by the creativity and talent found on our campus. Even when confronted by those who seek, in their petty ways, to inflict hurt against a few through ignorance and intolerance, we stood together. Through powerful words, decisive action, and unwavering commitment, we refused to allow hate to define our relationship. Instead, together we only reinforced our values, celebrating both what we held in common as much as how we express our differences. With dialogue, accompanied by respect, being a fundamental part of what makes this campus unique. And in the face of such challenges, upholding our values to stand in solidarity, we grew together. And together with all that made us unique, we remain committed to sharing with others in the broader world. Students volunteered throughout the city of Guelph helping people accomplish great things, volunteering in local hospitals and soup kitchens through Project Serve, actively partaking in both local and federal elections, raising concerns and presenting unique ideas, committing to environmental projects, promoting sustainability. These are amongst our many contributions to the broader society. Connecting with the larger world from campus, students raise funds for others in times of great need, providing clothing and aid during some of the worst humanitarian disasters of our time. We refuse to remain indifferent to the victims of global disasters, such as those in the case of tsunami in South Asia. We would not stand by in the wake of global warming and the violence that follows depleting resources nor would we neglect the suffering of those with life-threatening diseases, such as HIV AIDS, helping support many initiatives like the Masai Project. Even still, many travel great distances to help those that are less fortunate, be it in El Salvador, India, New Orleans, Botswana, Peru, or up in Northern Ontario. With the same spirit and enthusiasm, that defines us at well. We connected and shared with people around the world, and in turn, learned so much ourselves. We empowered ourselves to make a difference, and in doing so, found ourselves in this great big world around us. We gave meaning to our own lives by truly caring about others, connecting with issues of human rights and social justice extending our lives on campus to mean so much more. Yet, as we have done so much, there is still so much to be done. There is still so much suffering, starvation, disease, and violence all around us. One needs not to travel to another country, even a different province, to see the hurt caused by poverty. There are children who have no homes, living out of their parents' cars, families having fled persecution, and even genocide, now desperately struggling to start a life in Canada. Domestic violence, blind to socioeconomic conditions, those trying to manage a life-threatening disease, and people on the side of streets, 
begging for a few coins to get a warm drink and maybe even some food. And through everything our campus at Guelph had to offer, we managed to find a voice. We found each other. With all our shared ideas and passionate disagreements, we believed in something more. Here at Guelph, our small part of the world, yes, I get it, no, me too. We have a place where great ideas can grow. Okay. We would not suffer the world with more indifference, but on the contrary, hold strong to our values and aspire to make change. We embraced our challenges, pushing ourselves to become something more. While over the next few weeks, many of us will be finishing up a semester, writing our last exams, we are far from coming to an end. In fact, while things will change and many will be searching for jobs, looking to graduate studies, or continuing their volunteer work, we will continue to move forward. We will not be walking without direction into a new world. We need not imagine that we can, because we already have. As students, we already have challenged the world around us. We each embrace new challenges and forge new opportunities. We will not be ending, nor starting for that matter, but rather continuing to do what made us best. We will continue to take our experiences and memories at Guelph with us, critically and creatively using our imagination to learn from everything around us, making the world a better place, each and every one of us. Because on this campus, we each dare to be ourselves. On that note, I'd like to congratulate the graduating class of 2009 and everybody in this room that has supported them in their endeavors. Thank you very much.